Kicking off the morning by making a bento boxes for kids. First, boil the egg for 10 minutes for sandwich filling. Meanwhile, chop up all the vegetables: burdock, carrot, broccoli stem, onion, and corn. We're gonna make a miso soup with this. Usually, my morning starts with a multitask, like making a bento box and breakfast for my family, getting kids ready for school, doing the laundry and dishes. Into the pot, add onion, burdock, and carrot, followed by dashi packet. Pop the lid and cook it for about four to five minutes. This boy is three years old, and how I commit my task smoothly is really depending on his mood. This morning he was a little bit fussy, so I got this boiled corn stocking up in the fridge. This will last him at least five minutes. I'm hoping so. Shake it off and discard the dashi packets. Add corn, off the heat, and dissolve the miso paste. Just make sure to not to boil the miso soup. Once you add the miso paste to retain the aroma. I love the combination of yellow miso and corn, especially in summer. It's Tuesday morning, so I still have some meal prep left. I usually prepare three to five meal preps on the weekend, and I have a three meal prep videos linked in the description box below. Just gonna repeat the one this morning. It's called soboro in Japanese. Cook chicken bands along with some veggies and season with sweetened soy sauce. I have a similar but plant-based version on my blog. Again, the link is in the description box. I love to make a bit of nori seaweed to amp up the flavor since kids are big fan of nori seaweed. I wanted to add a little more color, so here comes meal prep number two: lunch to spinach. Kids might not to eat them, but I keep introducing them anyway. Lay down miso soup, garnish some spring onion. I also pre-chop this on the weekend. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I sprinkle chopped spring onion to pretty much everything. It takes extra time to let him sit. Is there any magic to make him sit with just asking for once? Any tips are welcome in the comment section. While my family is eating, I'm gonna finish up my bento box. Transfer the eggs into the ice bath so that you can peel it easily. Peel the skin off the egg. Mash it with a fork. Add a pinch of salt along with a hint of vinegar. This vinegar will create a different dimension of the taste and deepen the flavor. Lastly, add mayo as much or little as you want. I put about one tablespoon for two eggs. My sandwich tension is ready, so time for assembly. In Japan, we have this sandwich bread, which is very thin and soft. Do you have one in your country? If so. Is there a specific name for it? I also spread some strawberry jam. Recently, I asked you guys if there were any question for me to answer in the Q and A video. One of you asked me if I ever tried a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I tried a couple times in my life, but my kids still haven't tried it. In Japan, the combination is not so popular, although it tastes so so good. Another question I received is that how can you make a healthy feeling bento box daily? I really have no idea since I only have a few variety when it comes to the kids bento box. They are still pretty picky. The one thing I can tell is to use seasonal vegetable and make your bento box as colorful as you can to compensate for the nutrition, which I shared in the healthy habits video. If you guys have any innovative tips, please share in the comment section below. Now we're gonna fill up the space with a couple more variety of vegetables. Some corn, again. <laughs> These are the chicken nuggets, which is defrostable in room temperature. This works as an ice pack, as the summer in Japan is very humid and hot. 
That's my good excuse to use the frozen items. Steamed broccoli and a kimpiago bowl. I just cooked burdock, carrot, and soybeans in a sweet and soy sauce. Now you guys can guess Japanese love this sweet and salty flavor profile. Some cherry tomatoes, but not for picking ones. Bento box is done. By the time, usually my family finishes their breakfast, so I'll start to clean up. I'm getting so hungry, so munching on some boiled corn. Again, in the kitchen. Next up, getting kids dressed in their school uniform. Another time to be patient. It's been two months since they start to go to same kindergarten. I just love seeing them wearing the same uniform. It's so cute. What age is the time for kids to stay in one place? They are always moving around. <laughs> Now it's time to clean up and also do the laundry. I usually have my breakfast at this point, but today I'll go to my kids' school to attend a parent event. Usually once a semester, parents are allowed to see how kids are doing in the class. We call it hoik sankang in Japanese. It has been cancelled due to the situation for about one and a half years, so I am so excited to join. There's no time to eat anything for this day, so I'll skip my breakfast, which is so unusual in my book. I'm usually a big breakfast eater. I'm gonna show you exactly what I cook and eat for brunch later, so stay tuned. It's a simple cold noodle. Before I went, this dirt caught my eyes. Kids always come back with a massive amount of dirt and sun somehow, so I need to clean up once a few days. Wear a mask and ready to go. We just came back from the school and my tummy was growling all the time, which is pretty embarrassing. I'm gonna make myself some lunch. Shred some cucumber, chop one tomato into bite sides. We're gonna use half an avocado, again chopped. This recipe doesn't even have a name. It's too easy to be called as a recipe. This is how I survive in my real life with two kids. It's so realistic, I think. In a bowl, add grated ginger soy sauce. I think I added about one or well, one and a half tablespoon lemon juice and one canned tuna. Because tuna was soaked in the oil, I didn't add additional oil. But if you are omitting tuna, you might want to add some oil along with olives. Mix them well. I'm just gonna dunk everything in. To the stove, cook some somen noodles. It's very thin, so it takes you only two minutes to cook. Drain and remove the moisture completely. I think soba will go really with this sauce, but I just wanna save my time because I was starving. Transfer to the bowl and toss everything to coat. I don't have a written recipe for this, but I do have a vegan version of a similar 15 minutes noodle recipe, so let me leave the link for you. Garnish some shiso earth. And ready to be enjoyed finally because i was really hungry this noodle was the best i don't think the recipe is decent enough to share with you guys but i hope you got some inspirations kids are asking to go to the park so i better finish up this and get going thanks for hanging out with me this far 
I appreciate it. Let me know what your morning is like. Have a great day, friends. Bye bye. またね。